The Duchess of Sussex is reportedly in talks with palace officials in the wake of her father publicly calling upon the Queen to step in and help mend their rift. Thomas Markle made a direct appeal to the Queen to intervene and rebuild the relationship with his daughter during an interview with Good Morning Britain on Monday. He said, I love my daughter very much and she has to know that. I would really appreciate if she would just call me, reach out to me somehow, send me a text, just say you're there and you're hearing me. The royal household is allegedly enraged and exhausted with Mr. Markle, who claims he sends Meghan text messages every day and has also sent letters to Kensington Palace. According to the Mirror, Palace sources said the royal household had become enraged and yet exhausted with Thomas and believe he has gone a step too far by trying to draw the Queen into the row. Kensington Palace declined to comment today. A spokesman told Mail Online the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be spending Christmas in Norfolk with the rest of the royal family. Explaining why he believes Meghan has shut him out, Mr. Markle told Good Morning Britain yesterday. She has always been a very controlling person and that is part of her nature, but she has never been rude. She has always been in charge. The 74-year-old added, I've been ghosted. I'm not sure why it's happening. I love my daughter very much. I wish she would reach out, send me a text, anything. There has to be a place for me. I'm her father. And in a message of reconciliation for his estranged daughter who is believed to be around five months pregnant, Mr. Markle stared down the camera and said, I love you very much. I would like to hear from you. Whatever difficulties we've had I hope we can work through them. We're family. Meghan cut off contact with her father after he failed to walk her down the island has rebuffed all his attempts to make contact with her since then. But Mr. Markle hopes the birth of her child will break down that barrier, adding, I think she will make a great mum and maybe things will soften a bit and we will get back in contact. He added, I'm certainly hoping that everything goes well that they produce a beautiful baby. I hope I'll get to see a little Meghan or a little Harry. Mr. Markle has said that this will be his first Christmas without a card, call or visit from his beloved youngest child, who will spend it with the Queen at Sandringham. Thomas Markle said he hopes Her Majesty will help him and said, I would be grateful for anything she can do. I would think she would want to resolve any family problems. All families, royal or not, need to be together, especially in the holidays. Speaking from the San Diego, Mr. Markle said the rift can't continue forever and he would keep trying to connect with his daughter. He went on, I don't plan to be silent for the rest of my life. I love my daughter very much and she has to know that, and I would really appreciate if she would call me, just reach out to me. There has to be a place for me. I'm here, she knows it, I need her to reach back to me. Questioned by Piers Morgan, Mr. Markle denied Meghan had a tendency to dump people if she had no use for them, saying, that's really not a character trait. She's always been very polite to everyone, never been rude to anyone. I don't know what's really happening right now. Mr. Markle said, My daughter lived with me from the age of 11 all through middle school and high school until she went off to college. We're very close. What's happened, I'm not sure. I'd love to talk about it. I think it comes back to the fact that reporters pick up on interviews I've done and write their own stories and tell lies. He added, If they are believing that, that's unfortunate. They've always told me not to believe anything. Mr. Marco concluded his interview by wishing Harry and Meghan a Merry Christmas and saying he would spend the festive period with friends, giving out presents to unfortunate children. The pensioner has been cut off by his daughter and new son-in-law and said recently, murderers are not punished like I've been. Mr. Markle appeared on GMB over the summer where the recluse claimed that Harry had said he was open to Brexit and that people needed to give Trump a chance. He also said that Meghan kept the fact that she was dating Harry secret at first, asking her father to refer to him by the codename H, and that Harry had already popped the question to his daughter by the time he asked for her hand in marriage by phone and when he did, Meghan was also on the line. He said he gave his permission for the couple to wed as long as Harry promised never to raise his hand against his daughter and was grateful to Charles for stepping in when he was forced to pull out of giving his daughter away due to heart surgery, but admitted he felt jealous. 
Kensington Palace declined to comment on the interview or the astonishing claims, but there is little doubt that the new Duke and Duchess of Sussex have again been left humiliated by the continuing Markle family soap opera. Good Morning Britain presenter Piers Morgan confirmed that Meghan's father had pocketed a few thousand pounds but insisted his ultimate motive was not money. He claimed Mr. Markle had turned down significantly higher offers from the U.S. media but chose the British program as he wanted the proper chance to put across his side of the story. Mr. Markle's decision to sell out will be frustrating for palace officials who, after a dramatic run-up to the royal wedding, managed to pull off an extremely successful global event and had no doubt hoped to see the back of any further Markle family revelations. The fact that Mr. Markle chose not to discuss the interview beforehand with his daughter is likely to be seen by many as suggesting their relationship is fractured in the extreme. Royal sources have maintained, however, they have done everything they can to help and guide Mr. Markle, and say he is a proud man who finds it difficult to accept assistance from his daughter.